Yesterday's royal wedding was like no other. The ceremony merged British tradition with American culture when Prince Harry married actress Meghan Markle. Terry Okita has more from Windsor, England. All eyes were on Meghan Markle as she traveled to St. George's Chapel with her mother. The bride wore a sleek, sculpted silk dress created by British designer Claire Waite Keller with a 16-foot veil and an antique tiara once owned by Queen Mary. Prince Charles walked Markle down the aisle, filling in for her ailing father as her mother looked on. At the altar, Prince Harry told his bride she looked amazing. We must discover love. Then the ceremony took a non-traditional turn when Bishop love Michael Curry, leader of the U.S. Episcopal Church, delivered a passionate love. sermon. When love is the way, we actually treat each other. Well, like we are actually family. Before their vows, Harry and Meghan asked the late Princess Diana's sister to do a reading. I, Harry, take you, Meghan. To be my wife. To be my wife. I, Meghan, take you, Harry. The bride and groom invited a range of musicians to perform. Stand by me. Stand by me. The guest list was a mix of royals and celebrities, including George Clooney, Oprah Winfrey, Elton John, and Markle's Suits co stars. A roar of applause greeted the newlyweds as they emerged from the chapel and paused to kiss on the steps. Tens of thousands of well-wishers lined the streets of Windsor to cheer the prince and his new American princess as they rode in a horse and carriage procession. Many of these royal fans camped out all night just to get a glimpse of the newlyweds. We just kind of wanted to be here to support Harry on his big day because his mom's not here. In royal tradition, Queen Elizabeth bestowed titles on the newly married couple, naming them the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. After a quick wardrobe change, the pair headed off to their second reception, capping off a fairy tale wedding day. Terry Okita, CBS News, Windsor, England.